is the Batwing awning. Not built for short people, definitely not. Very easy to put up. But it has some negatives. And they're pretty major. Okay, first of all, this shin system here, it's all plastic and it's designed to snap in order to save the hinge from bending. These little hinge pellets right in there, they're not as strong as they look. I've already replaced one set. Secondly, these brackets, they are just as weak. Super easy to break. However, if you know this before you buy it, then you can manage it safely so they don't break. What I mean is rolling it up properly every time you use it, putting them in confession from top to bottom, the top being the one that comes around the furthest and the bottom being the one that's closest to the uh, awning poles. If you do get these mixed up when you pull them out, snap, 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 you're going to set a lot of it. Um, they will all pull around because what will happen is this will fold in a little bit and then the other poles will fold over and it'll snap again. Um, you can eliminate wind as an issue because they got the double pegs in the bottom of every leg. One peg's enough even if it's not windy, just put one in. I suggest at least the two down here, up the front, one, two, because that's where the most of the flap's gonna come, at the very least. I mean, it does not hurt to put one in each. Two in each is better. It does have guy ropes, However, I can't really see a need for those until you get the sides. It's just more setting up. It's not really that necessary unless it's raining, maybe. Other than that, it's bloody fantastic. The material that they use, it's, it's typical rhino, what you would expect. How can I say any better? Look, now that I know how to use it, I'm gonna be happy with it. I do need to reposition it so it does come to here, it is sitting a little bit back. I can move it about four inches forward and then it will cover just the corner of that so me fridge doesn't get when it comes out. But other than that, what a top little setup that thing is. Sheepskin hut. Come check it out sometime, guys. But please, clean up after yourself, respect the hut, and leave it here in good fashion for everyone else. That's all we ask. Oh. Next stop, three ways. It's a um, little junction that uh, leads us either, if you want to walk, it'll lead you down to Dun Swamp. Don't quote me on it, I haven't done it, but that's supposedly what it does. And if you keep heading forward, it takes you back to the Putty Valley. Literally through uh, Wollamai National Park in the Putty Valley. So, really nice drive to get out of here. And I think I'm going to enjoy it at this time of the afternoon. Uh, where am I going to stop and stay for the night? I was going to stay here, but there's no phone reception. 
I need to make a couple of calls tonight, so I think there's some reception at Three Ways. I'll stop there and figure out what I'm doing. Bell birds. They're awesome, eh? I have got a long way to go to get out of here. I might um, end up staying in here once I get to Collar Ridge Road, I think it is. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it out of here tonight. Oh well. Part of the fun. Still heading out. On Baker's Road now, but uh, Hunter, the Hunter Trail eventually turns into Baker's Road. Now the GPS did tell me to cut across earlier for a shortcut, but I know that that goes right down into the valley and I was not prepared to do that tonight. So keep that one up the sleeve for next time you're out here, if you're out here early enough. It's just before the three-way junction. dark now. I didn't make it out of here. I didn't find anywhere nice to camp either so I'm just going to keep on heading out and then once I get to the beach I'll blow up the wheels and get out of here. Not too far now. Oh that's slippery. Woo. Take the next ride onto Party Valley Road. Thank God I'm out of there. Valley Road for 14 kilometers. Okay, so this is my canopy setup underneath my new batwing awning. Uh, dining table right here. I can prepare all my food and stuff just here. Um, why I chose here was it was easily easy to hook up underneath here. Nice and easy setup. Five minute job. Cost me about two bucks in parts. Um, I actually bought the board brand new, but I won't go into that. 
in this drawer all my kitchen and I've got a spare cooker up the back that's a proper cooker that requires the gas bottle over there however on the light camps like tonight where I'm not cooking big I do have just this one here this is the one that I use just to cook up um, me brekkie in the morning and cook up some coffee and all that kind of stuff which is exactly why I wanted the uh, batwing awning so that was all under cover for once I always had the uh, the side oh, those struts are so strong I've always had the side awning on the other side but obviously it only covers or here so I've chucked that on this side in case I just need some extra room to set up swag or something like that but yeah that's that side um, in here I've got my dry box just got the usual stuff in there it's got the kettle dry foods I just keep the towel in there just for a second layer of protection from dust no, no dust gets in this canopy fortunately uh, this is all my cooking ware I've got bowls, plates, pans, the whole lot in these little bags. Quite handy. That is the side awning that goes off the top of this one. Uh, King's camp oven. Water, obviously. This is for when I've got the tent on, but I've decided to leave it in anyway because I don't know when I need it. It's always good to have. Second table in case we're entertaining. Um, obviously, got my fishing rods all on the roof. My fishing tackle bag just here. Uh, 12 volt setup over there, which is working really well now, even with two uh, dud batteries. They're always at 100%. So, whatever I've done to fix it, it's working really well. So, I'm going to stick with it. That's pretty much it. Obviously, I've got the fridge over the back and the drop down slide. I am way too short for this truck without that. Um, that's pretty much my setup. Obviously got the ladder for roof access. See, without the tent, I can put the um, put anything on the roof now, so it's actually useful. I like sleeping in the swag more than the tent, so hey, it works for me. Um, inside, just the usual setup inside. PMS, rarely use it. Mainly, mainly just to record tracks. Uh, Two-way. Usual stuff, this is for this camera, just sits in the little cradle there, stops it from bouncing around, it's always easy to get to. Second battery, that can run, when it's plugged into the cigarette lighter, it runs the actual radio, so I can play the radio while the car's off without worrying about flattening the battery. Got my solar on the roof, that's new, pretty dirty, not secured, I know that this is actually killing a lot of the amperage, so it's only temporary. I do need another one. But that's it. That's my setup. If you guys got any ideas of anything I can do to improve this, I like to keep the canopy open so I can put big stuff in there if I do need to. So not too much will change in there. There's not a really big core. I mean the swag just sits here. My seat and the swag table or whatever they're called just sits there it all fits in quite well and I can put double that in by keeping it open like that so that's why I've stayed going that way finally long planes lost footage this footage was thought to be lost forever I thought I had gone mad perhaps not pressed record that actually happens a lot but here it is Coinbill Hut's tour Leaving Long Plain, even Long Plain Hut. It's just too good not to share. Big hike home today. Oh, it's still probably about 380 k's, but it's all highway, so should be home in about three and a half hours. No problems there. Beautiful morning here in Long Plain. Got all the fog. Just starting the lift out of the valley. As the sun comes up, it's cooking it away. Stunning. It's a good day for the road. 
As promised, let's go check out this hut. And time goes so fast When you with the ones you love But I won't worry today Even if time flies Just like Even that. If time flies Camp's packed away. up. How's it going? It's not quite like leaving a camp in the morning. Make sure you're paying attention when you grab the drone. I just brought it down quickly because there was a car coming and I was on the middle of the road. <laughs> I just grabbed the drone and it split me good square in the finger. The diamonds shine Ten. on the snow. My guitars sleep on the back seat. Following the river to another show. Perfect day for the road And time goes so fast Let's go and have a look-see, shall we? When you're with the ones you love Ooh. But I won't worry today Even if time flies Even if time flies away Thingy. Hang on a second, I'm going to mark it so we 